One of the most anticipated matchups come SummerSlam is the collision between Drew McIntyre and Ilya Dragunov. The situation between these two men has boiled over in the last month. A story built off wins, losses, and a desire to be a champion for Drew McIntyre. It was this time last year that he was in the midst of an incredible reign on SmackDown as the World Heavyweight Champion. For 267 days, McIntyre was the standard bearer of the blue brand, but that all came crashing down last November at Survivor Series. Losing the World Championship to Gunther has sent Drew on a downward spiral all year long. The Scottish Warrior earned his way to a rematch back at WrestleMania. Unfortunately for McIntyre, falling short to the ring general once again. Standing toe to toe in a matchup against Roman Reigns at Backlash. And once again, Drew McIntyre saw defeat. McIntyre was feeling like a shell of himself, taking over a month off to try to recalibrate and figure out what he needed to do to get back the World Heavyweight title. McIntyre returned in the first round of the King of the Ring tournament. A victory sent him to Super SmackDown in the quarterfinals, where a game Ilya Dragunov upset the Scottish Warrior on that night. Their paths crossed again in the final moments of the number one contender's gauntlet match, where once more, the Tsar proved to be invincible, surviving an onslaught from McIntyre and punching his ticket to money in the bank. Our story takes us to London, England last month, where Dragunov went to war with one world champion, Guther. Dragunov was within inches of winning the gold, but went down in a blades of glory to the dominant force that is known as the Ring General. Unfortunately for Ilya, the heartbreak did not stop there. McIntyre resurfaced for the first time since the gauntlet and pummeled and already broken and bruised Ilya Dragunov. Over the last month, Drew has succumbed to his demons and has let his failures unleash a whole new vicious side. No one has been safe from the path that Drew has traveled down, but no matter the destruction caused, Ilya Dragunov wants his revenge. At SummerSlam a week from Saturday, Dragunov is in search of his pound of flesh, while McIntyre finds himself in a must-win situation, one-on-one -on -one against the Mad Dragon that has spewed his fire twice before. The grudge match is on at SummerSlam. This one is gonna be a war. Pissed off, fired up, and hell bent on victory. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Air Scotland, weighing in at 254 pounds, the Scottish Warrior. It was one year ago at this very event that Drew McIntyre walked in and successfully defended the World Heavyweight Championship. A championship that no longer is around the waist of the Scottish Warrior. And for the last nine months, McIntyre has been hell bent on getting back to the dance, recapturing the big gold belt. And somebody who has been in the way of McIntyre not once but twice before is the Mad Dragon, Ilya Dragunov. Drew McIntyre has full intention purposes of taking down the Tsar here tonight. But that is certainly something easier said than done. You know, several superstars have been on the rise in 2024. The Mad Dragon just may be at the top of that list. Two victories over Drew McIntyre. Will it be a third? And his opponent from Moscow, Russia, weighing in at 187 pounds, Ilya Dragunov. 
the 2023 Cruiserweight Classic winner, a former Cruiserweight champion, a former Intercontinental champion, and a former NXT United Kingdom champion, Ilya Dragunov continues to take Friday Night Smackdown by storm. And five weeks ago, nearly changed the landscape of SummerSlam when he was within inches of taking down the ring general Guther and becoming the World Heavyweight Champion. But a loss on that night was only the beginning of the destruction of the Mad Dragon as Drew McIntyre beat Ilya Dragunov all over the O2 Arena. Dragunov, just as McIntyre is hell-bent on victory, Ilya is hell-bent on retribution. Dragunov refuses to be a stepping stone in McIntyre's path back to the World Heavyweight Championship. If Drew wants that title so bad, he's gonna have to slay the dragon once and for all here at SummerSlam. We hate to sound like a broken record, but that is easier said than done when you are fighting an individual who thrives off pain and destruction inside of the ring, dragging off hot out of the bell. And McIntyre should be expecting this from Ilya in the opening moments. We saw a quick preview of a fight between these two men in the main event of SmackDown last night. Drew McIntyre and JD McDonough victorious over Ilya dragging off from the Cruiserweight Champion Tyler Bate, McDonough pinning Bate in that matchup. But we saw these two men go toe to toe. Oh my goodness! McIntyre. Well, he said on WWE.com earlier this week that he was going to bring his most vicious and destructive side to SummerSlam. And I think we are seeing that out of Drew right now. Pile driver to Ilya in the early moments, and now it's all over. Ilya Dragunov. Drew McIntyre desperately needs to defeat Dragunov tonight. And now a submission hold. And when's the last time we've seen McIntyre lock in a submission hold? Drew McIntyre, I am sure, has added some new wrinkles to his arsenal to throw Ilya off his game. Ilya Dragunov defeating Drew McIntyre in the quarterfinals of the King of the Ring tournament, taking down McIntyre in the final moments of the number one contender's gauntlet back in June. Drew McIntyre was already near a boiling point when he met Ilya Dragunov on those two occasions. And it just so happened that the Mad Dragon was the man who pushed McIntyre over the edge. And now Drew McIntyre takes out months of frustration, months of being unable, to get back the World Heavyweight Championship on the man who was within inches of winning it five weeks ago. Drew McIntyre, I am sure, is going to have a keen interest on tonight's main event, but he better keep his focus on Ilya Dragunov right here and right now at SummerSlam. And I don't mean to discount whatever McIntyre plans to bring to the ring tonight. But no matter any wrinkles he might have added to his arsenal, we said it before, we'll say it again, Ilya Dragunov, a man who seemingly thrives off pain. He is not intense. He is the personification of intensity. Dragunov taking down McIntyre with one stiff shot. Drew McIntyre go to the outside to create some distance. Ilya, full head of steam. McIntyre gets back in the ring to cut the dragon off. Not trying to see that dragon go flying, and down goes Ely off the top rope. I am sure Drew McIntyre has watched back his previous two encounters with Ilya Dragunov like homework, and tonight is the final test. McIntyre does not pull this match off tonight and does not sustain victory. I don't know where Drew McIntyre goes from here. We'll have to see what the result is and see how SmackDown will be moving forward as McIntyre is the one taking things to the air. 285 pounds of a pissed off Scottish warrior coming down on the Mad Dragon, Ilya Dragunov. And Dragunov is looking worse for wear. Can never count out the Czar. But Drew McIntyre may not give Dragunov any moment of hope in this matchup. He is going to stay on him, not give him any room to breathe. Count of five right now. And Dragunov is just getting beaten from the barricade to the LED board. 
Now on the shoulders. Drag it off. Looking to fight back. McIntyre's got to realize that at any instance, Dragunov has the capabilities to turn this matchup around. He's got that second and third gear that a lot of superstars don't have. And a nice hip toss. Dragunov, I'm sure, is going to be a little slow getting back into this thing. But anything can help as he sends Drew McIntyre to the outside. McIntyre taking a fall. Wait a minute. Never mind. Dragunov's picking up speed. Double boots to the heart. Ilya Dragunov will not be denied. This match has been nicknamed a grudge match for a reason. Dragunov embarrassed, heartbroken, back at Money in the Bank. And although Drew McIntyre will not leave any stone unturned in his pursuit of victory tonight, Ilya is willing to crawl to victory if that's what need be. Massive Uranagi on the top of that barricade as McIntyre's down and out. And I don't think Dragunov is looking for a count out victory. I think he's looking to break the count and looking to use his surroundings to his advantage. Right into the LED. Ilya Dragunov has got a plan, and he is looking to institute it here at Ford Field. Taking down McIntyre, and you gotta believe that is one hell of a destructive big boot if it's able to topple Drew McIntyre, at least momentarily. Ilya Dragunov, somebody who has become very close friends with the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. Great respect has been built between those two superstars over the last few months. Cody even stepping up to fight McIntyre several weeks ago on SmackDown. Dragunov is looking to do one good by Cody, do one good by Tyler Bate, two men that McIntyre has targeted over the last five weeks since this change of heart from the Scottish Warrior. McIntyre sent to the corner. Wait a minute here. The Mad Dragon getting ready to spew his fire from one coast to another. McIntyre down. Ilya throwing his own body in the way. And it almost gained a victory, but not just yet. McIntyre still into it. At no point can we discount Dragunov. They have done this song and dance twice over the last few months, and Dragunov's hand was raised high on both occasions. Drew McIntyre, however, yeah. not looking for that to happen for a third time. And a little overzealous rope break there. Ilya Dragunov knocked off Drew McIntyre in front of 50,000 strong in Mexico City at Super Smackdown in June. Did it again just a few weeks later in the midst of a number one contender's gauntlet matchup. Can he do it again? Or will tonight be the night that Drew McIntyre finally buries the demon of his past in the Czar? McIntyre set over the top rope as Ilya continues to fight. Ilya takes down McIntyre. McIntyre has taken a couple of falls from the ring to ringside throughout this matchup. And a senton delivers. Man, you can never, ever discount the heart. Discount the fight. Discount the intestinal fortitude, as Gorilla Monsoon would say, of Ilya Dragunov. This guy just keeps on coming. The personification of built different between the ropes. McIntyre sidestep and just topples Dragon off momentarily. Drew McIntyre has been hell bent on getting back the World Heavyweight Championship since it left his waist back last November. Has had his opportunities. They've gone by the wayside. McIntyre failed to defeat Gunther in the main event of WrestleMania. Failed to defeat Roman Reigns one month later at Backlash. Came up short to drag it off not once but twice. The tension has boiled over. The frustration has come to a head. McIntyre now misstep as he goes to fly for a second time. Drag it off read his playbook and a torpedo Moscow. Ilya drag it off saw his opportunity and he took his shot. McIntyre overzealous. Torpedo Moscow. Dragunov might have caught him. 
Drew is still alive. The same knockout blow that defeated McIntyre in the closing moments of the number one contender's gauntlet earlier this summer. Unfortunately, not enough to take down McIntyre here at SummerSlam. Dragging off with the strength to put Drew on top. And now what has he got in mind? Massive overhead throw. This sold out crowd here in Ford Field in great appreciation of the efforts from Ilya Dragunov and even Drew McIntyre, who creates just enough distance, sends Dragunov into the ropes. Powerful spine buster. And Ilya pops the shoulder off the canvas. McIntyre nearly had himself beat, but now bounces back with a Claymore kick. But the man Dragon has still got fire in his lungs. And McIntyre right back on the offense. Ilya survives the Claymore kick and Drew McIntyre's getting even more pissed off. I really hope that Ilya's will to keep on fighting does not be his own detriment tonight. Because as long as McIntyre is the aggressor, Drew will stop at nothing to incapacitate Ilya Dragunov, even if it means his own career is in the harm's way. Dragunov set to the corner and McIntyre with a crushing boot. The Claymore may not have done it, but it certainly has left Dragunov in an opportune state. As Drew heads to the top rope, 285 pounds of an axe chop. Both of these superstars hitting some of their best maneuvers in the blink of an eye. McIntyre went over the top rope. He crashed and burned. Ilya took his shot. Ilya was left wandering inside the squared circle. McIntyre delivered a Claymore kick, yet they keep on fighting. It leaves you to believe that what is it gonna take for one of these superstars to fall short of a three count? Drew McIntyre realizes that he made his bed tonight. And if Ilya Dragunov is victorious, it is gonna be one embarrassing loss on one of the biggest stages of the WWE calendar. Dragunov, electric chair. Where does he get this from? A normal man would have already hit the showers, but Ilya Dragunov is not normal. He is inhumane. He is invincible. Dragunov heads to the top rope. Head butt to that big old Scottish dome. Drew McIntyre kicks out. My goodness, what a physical war we have on hands here at SummerSlam. McIntyre once again creates some distance. Dragunov gets set for a ride. Dragunov loves to talk about Unbazikbar being invincible. Something that drives him inside of the ring. But no matter the term, Dragunov just might not have enough left in the tank as Drew McIntyre continues to meet Ilya at every given step. Dragunov looking worse for wear. McIntyre, air raid crash! And he's not done. Eyes locked. And a future shock DDT. It has been some time since we've seen that maneuver. McIntyre wins. Well, I hope he's satisfied. Here is your winner, the Scottish warrior, Drew McIntyre. A change of heart brings a change of results. Pulling out the future shock DDT for the first time in some time. And Ilya Dragunov, unfortunately, just doesn't have enough left in the tank. McIntyre came to SummerSlam to slay the Mad Dragon, and he has done just that. Drew McIntyre gets a much-needed victory, and I am sure his pursuit of winning back the World Heavyweight title has only 
just begun. When the tension rises and the war on the battlefield begins, there is only one thing for these superstars to do. Survive! Coming your way on Saturday night, November 16th, for the Kia Center in Orlando, Florida. Witness the 2024 edition of the Fall Classic as the superstars of Raw and SmackDown, along with No Nation Gaming channel memberships, proudly present Survivor Series!